Should we order a bottle of vino? That's okay, we're fine. I'd like some wine. I just offered you a shot of Southern Comfort at the movies. Now you want a $9 glass of wine? <laughs> it's okay, Pete. I'll, uh, I'll pick up the wine. Hey, they got champagne. What do you want to bet he pulls out that big coupon book when the check comes? You know, I don't hear you complaining when you get a free dessert of equal or lesser value. Give me that thing. No. Give me it. No. Give me it. Give it to me. Is there a problem here? Oh, uh, yeah, we were wondering what your soup is. Hey, come on, give it back. No. <laughs> Minestrone. Thank you. We uh, just need another minute, thanks. They're basically a fun couple. Fun couple of what? I said me. No, I'm not cheap. I'm just sensible. You wash your hair with laundry detergent. It's good enough for my underwear. It's good enough for my hair. <laughs> they have some issues. How's that minestrone? Come on, let's sniff out the back. No, 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 no. We're their friends. We have to stay here and give them our love and support until they work through this. <laughs> Why don't we give them a little privacy? <laughs> And here we are at the Burning Man Festival. <laughs> what in God's name is a Burning Man Festival? Oh, it's kind of like this postmodern techno pagan rave where we burn this 50 foot guy. Oh. What do you mean, oh? <laughs> Look how cute Greg looks on the back of Snake's Harley. She was nice. <laughs> you went to this function, Gregor? Yeah, it was fun. Uh, it's just like Shakespeare in the park, except Shakespeare's 50 feet tall and he's on fire. <laughs> Aren't you gonna answer the phone? Oh, good, it is the phone. <laughs> we, uh, we, we kind of screen these days. We're not here. Leave a message. Hey, guys, pick up the phone. Are they there? I don't know, I'm waiting for them to pick up. Did you tell them we're gonna play Boggle? Did you hear me tell them we're gonna play Boggle? No, that's what I asked! Okay, who wants some dinner? I cooked Ethiopian. Ooh, this is so much fun. We all sit on the floor and eat with our hands off a communal platter. Oh, well, how third world. Don't worry, we grilled a couple of steaks for you. And you can sit at the table. Oh, very considerate of you, Dharma, dear. Yes, usually we have to go out to dinner after we eat here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dharma, the Yabega Lekha is delicious. <laughs> I yabegged it myself. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I think we missed the joke. She yabegged it herself. <laughs> I think we missed it again. <laughs> so, Greg, you looking forward to this weekend? Yeah, sure. I mean, I love uh, being in the woods. Oh, me too. Makes me horny as a goat. <laughs> she gets that from me. Edward, do you know what they're talking about? Almost never. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you all going off for the weekend together? Mm. My, my parents go on this couples retreat every year, and this year we're going with them. Oh, couples retreat. Mm -hmm. Well, it's this thing to help um, develop healthy communication skills and improve your marriage, and um, Dharma really likes the woods. <laughs> very intriguing. It sounds like something that Edward and I would like to go along on. The hell we would. Are you sure, Kitty? Because, you know, you might have to discuss your sex life and you hate talking about orgasms and stuff. <laughs> She's got you there. <laughs> Edward, can't you see that we are being excluded? Now, if we don't start going off on their little jaunts, we're never going to see Gregory at all. Um... Edward and I would be very interested in joining with you on your weekend. Mm. Really? You yeah, know, it's kind of out there. Trust me, Mother, it's not your thing. Well, I will have you know that I am as forward-thinking and as, as much of a free spirit as the next fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, that was funny. <laughs> I got it, Kitty. <laughs> Did you know that when they were about to shut down the Maplethorpe exhibit, it was Kitty Montgomery who said, Ap 
absolutely not. We will simply remove the obscene photographs. <laughs> and I am no Johnny come lately to Bohemia. One summer, when I was in college, Vassar, you know, um, <laughs> I, I took an apartment by myself in Manhattan below 57th Street. <laughs> gonna be fun. <laughs> Good one, Dharma. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kitty Montgomery. This is my lover, Edward. <laughs> it's an honorary title. <laughs> Dharma, I don't think I can handle having my parents here. Oh, sure you can. Just don't look at them during the touching exercises. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Here we are, two by two, climbing onto an ark that we are going to build together out of feelings and trust and, yes, a tear or two. I think this guy sold office supplies to my company. <laughs> now, some of this ark building this weekend is going to be very hard, and some of you are going to want to give up. But let's make a commitment right now to stick with it, shall we? We, we shall. shall. <laughs> Welcome back, Abby and Larry. Hi. Now, why don't we each put our car keys in the commitment box and lock it up to show our full and total commitment to our voyage of self-discovery. Uh, hold it. I'm not, I'm not giving up my keys to anyone. If they put their keys in, we can put our keys in. Yes, but they drive an old ice cream truck. Hey. Sorry, we're late. He's so stupid, he thought I could read a map. What do I say to that, huh? Come on, somebody, what do I say to them? Did you invite them? I told them about it, but I never thought Pete would actually spend the money. Okay, there's my check, and uh, here's my coupon. I don't believe this. My whole reason for coming here was to get away from Pete and Jane. I thought you came because you love me and you want to work on our relationship. Well, yeah, that goes without saying. Are these your golf clubs? Uh, well, I, I figured that since we didn't have a lot of work to do on our relationship, that you know, maybe I'd have some free time. Well, this is our couple's retreat. I said maybe I'd have some free time, you know, or not. Either way, fine by me. You don't want to be here, do you? No, this is great. I understand that when you're married, you have to do lots of things you don't want to do. <laughs> like shutting up now or earlier. <laughs> Look, if you don't want to be here, then let's just go. No, no. This moment proves that we have some communication issues, and what better place to deal with them than here, where things like this are dealt with. So, Dharma, I'm asking you, please, can we stay here for me? Are you done? God, I hope so. Oh, you better fool around while you still have a good sweat going. <laughs> well, Bella said it was right over here. Shoot us, priest, it's an outhouse. Edward, stop complaining. How did you survive in the army? <laughs> uh. Oh, hey, guys. Warm the seat up for you. Edward, we're going home. Kitty, what about... I'll hold it. Now, you're probably all wondering, hey, what are we going to do with these baskets? We're building better relationships. And each time we learn something that's going to help our relationship, we're going to take a stone and we're going to put it in our relationship basket <laughs> to remind us of the work that we've done. And when you leave here, you'll take these baskets with you and these stones will be a foundation for a house of love. <laughs> Free basket. Excuse me. Uh, where are my parents? Kitty and Edward aren't going to be with us this session. They came to me and asked for their keys back. Oh. Thought they'd at least make it till lunch. <laughs> but I respected their pledge of commitment, and you'll be happy to know I sent them to their cabin with a couple's timeout kit. Oh, oh. they'll love that. Yeah, it has hold me, touch me flashcards. <laughs> now, you may not know it, but you started working on this foundation before you even got here. Friendship 
is part of the foundation of a good relationship. So put a stone in your basket if you were friends before you were lovers. You know, um, went to the movies, chatted on the phone. Oh, come on, you just didn't have a sandwich together and then get married. Pie. Sorry? We had pie. And then we got married. Okay. Well, that's neat. What about hobbies? Put a stone in your basket if you have a shared interest or an activity that you do together. Does peeping at our neighbors count? Because we take turns with the telescope. Well, if it's an activity you do together, that's a hobby. Give yourselves a stone. It's not a hobby, it's a misdemeanor. Greg, Chapman has a saying, don't throw stones until you have some. How are we doing here? Not so good. No shared interests? No hobbies? What about sex? Yeah, uh, does sex count? Oh, sex counts for so much. But not here. We don't want to confuse physical intimacy with emotional intimacy, do we? No. I guess not. Can you think of anything else you do together? We go out to dinner? Uh -huh. All right. That's a stone. We got a mercy stone. <laughs> Did you offer him money? Of course, I offered him $500. Oh, why didn't you offer him $1,000? I'm not going to pay $1,000 for the keys to a car I own. Guess how much these shoes cost, Edward. Go ahead, guess. If you had just eaten your Ethiopian steak and kept your mouth shut, we wouldn't be here. Are you saying this is my fault? Of course not. Well, good. And finally, verbal affection is a foundation. So besides honey and sweetheart, give yourselves a stone for every pet name you have. Major Tom. Ground control. I can't think of anything. Well, try. We've only got one stone here. Oh, 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 what about that time I called you by my old boyfriend's name? Does that count? No, no, probably not. Half pint. Love muffin. Shrimp. Fathead. Freak. Loser. Mama's girl. Hey, you leave my mother out of this or I'll kill yours. Okay, everyone. See what happened there? He crossed over a line and she established a boundary. And that is part of their what? Foundation. Foundation. Give yourselves a stone. What? How is that a stone? Do you want some iris stone? No! Okay, now we're going to split up, and I've chosen some relationship-building activities for each couple based on what I've observed so far. Last year, Larry and I got to feed each other ice cream in the hot tub. I'll bet you we get that. <laughs> you should have bet me. How is this supposed to help our relationship? Shared hardship increases intimacy. <laughs> You called me pumpkin once. What? Remember at Halloween? You said, hand me that pumpkin. No, hand me that pumpkin. <laughs> guys, just got to get some ice cream for the hot tub. What'd you guys get? Caribbean cruise, but first we have to build a big potato boat. <laughs> Which do you like, chocolate swirl or strawberry? Strawberry. Chocolate swirl it is. I tricked you. I wanted chocolate swirl. I know, I got strawberry. <laughs> Hand me that potato. Hand me that potato or hand me Just that potato. Just give me the potato. damn thing. <laughs> oh, Larry, look. Shared hardship increases intimacy. Remember when we had to peel the potatoes? First four years. Hey, Greg. Mm -hmm. You think Chapman was right about us? What do you mean? You know, that we're a bad match. Absolutely not. So we don't have a lot of common interests or common friends or a common history that drew us together. We have... Yes? I don't care what he says. Sex counts. 
I think about it sometimes and like, I wonder if we had dated for a year and gotten to know all about each other, you know, your parents and my parents and everything, do you think we would have gotten married? <laughs> like I would have introduced you to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I look at us sometimes and we're so different. And I wonder sometimes um, if, we'll, if we'll make it. You think that? Sometimes. Sometimes I feel the same thing. Greg. What? Shared hardship increased our intimacy. Oh. <laughs> Edward, I can't, I can't, I can't go any further. Well, we can't stay here, Kitty. I'll carry you. Well, what about your back? Oh, you're right. Lie down, I'll drag you. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. I'm all right. Oh. I guess we can spend the night, get a fresh start in the morning. We'll freeze to death. No, we won't. We'll keep ourselves warm with shared body heat. Excuse me? It's basic survival. I learned it in the army. You take your clothes off, huddle together, and cover yourself with your clothes. You did that in the army? Don't be silly. I was an officer. I had a space heater. <laughs> now, let me help you get undressed, soldier. Yes, sir. Okay, how observant are we about our mates without looking right down everything your partner is wearing today? You're right. Where's our right one? Got it. <laughs> There's a, a funny story. There was a couple here a, a few years ago, and the man didn't get a single thing right. Oh, is this the one where it turns out that he's colorblind? <laughs> yes, that's the one. Oh, good. Tell it. And well, that was it. <laughs> he told it better last year. <laughs> Switch. Okay, let's stand up, turn around, take a look at our partners, and see how we did. Oh, pants. I had pants, and I crossed it out. <laughs> oh, I think I did pretty well. Really? How about you, Greg? Uh, looks like I got everything, but uh, that's us. <laughs> Observant of our partner. Did you mind? Sure. Blue cashmere pullover. Brushed twill khakis, no cuffs. Inch and a half braided leather belt, cordovan. Shoes, lace up, also cordovan. Wow! That's not Dharma's handwriting. <laughs> yes, it is. Greg wrote it. Cordovan? I say cordovan. <laughs> you cheated? Oh, big deal! We're a good couple! We deserve rocks! Did you cheat on the blindfolded trust walk? We didn't go on the blindfolded trust walk. We had sex in the woods. But we used the blindfolds. <laughs> now look under their stones. It's all potatoes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I've never had to do this before, but, but I have to be strong for the group. I'm gonna have to ask you two to leave. You're kidding me. You're, you're kicking us out? <laughs> Aren't you gonna... Make us clean out your rain gutters first or paint your fence? Oh, come on, you gotta let us paint your fence. Greg, Chapman was only trying to help you. Oh, Abby. This is a bunch of stupid little games and he thinks Pete and Jane are the best couple? What's that all about? I mean, I love you guys separately, but together you were just a swirling vortex of pure evil. <laughs> well, that's what the dry cleaner said. <laughs> come on, honey. We're out of here. Yeah. We look like we're getting smaller because we're leaving. <laughs> Our uh, keys are in the commitment box. It's the Volvo keys with the flashlight and the nail cutters and the tire gauge. Isn't that right, honey? She's exactly right. Only uh, it's a sob. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. What, what time is it? Oh, about 11. 9.15. <laughs> I thought I'd uh, let you sleep in a bit. Well, thank you. Here. Oh. A little breakfast. Here, berries. Oh, my. Well, Edward, I had, I had no idea you were so proficient in the out of doors. <laughs> thank you. For me? For you. Um, I found the highway. It's, uh, it's not far. We should be able to make it in half an hour. What's our rush? 
Well, I thought... Uh... Oh. Oh. <laughs> 